can you make this cool image gallery only using the free version of Elementor? So here when you hover over on these little images, you can see the detailed content in the middle. Also you can rotate this just by dragging it or click here on the previous next button to navigate through them. So without any further ado, let's see how we can make all of that. So here first of all we need to create a new container. So click on here and choose this two column structure. If we open our this structure panel, from here we can also see all of this container. So go to this topmost container and for this one let's make it to full width and full height. So make it to 100 VH. Let's also give it a background color. Here basically I want to create three containers. So we can just duplicate this and here's these three containers. And I want to make this middle container bigger and other two container smaller. So for that first go to this middle container and give its width 620 pixel and also give an height for this one 220 pixel and also do the same for this one. Okay now to place them at the center let's go to our this band container and make its justify content and align items to the center. Okay, perfect. Now inside this first container, let's add an heading widget, change this text, change this color to black, and also change the typography. And align this from the right side. Here basically we need to create two headings, so we can just duplicate this and for the first one let's change the text and also reduce the font size and font weight. To reduce the gap between them let's go to this container and reduce it from here. Now inside this middle container we need to create multiple containers and inside each of this container we need to add their content. So from here let's add a new container inside here and make its width 200 pixel. We don't want this default padding so also make it to zero and to place it at the center here let's go to this container and make the justify content and align items to the center. Here with our this container we want to place all of the other container at the same place so for that let's go to here and make sure to give its position to the absolute and also remove this default offset. Okay now inside this I want to add an heading widget so from here we can just copy this and paste it to here, change this text, also change the typography and align this to the center. Let's also add an image. So from here let's drag an image widget inside this container and upload an image. Let's set an height for this image 200 pixel. So we make this image 200 by 200 pixel regardless which image you are uploading. And also don't forget to make this object fit to cover to maintain the aspect ratio of this image. Now under here let's also add an subheading. So let's just duplicate this, drag it to here, change this text and also reduce the font size and font weight. Now from here we can just duplicate our this container and create our other content. But before duplicating, it's always better to check its responsiveness for the tablet and mobile devices. Because if I duplicate first and then do the responsive work, then we need to do the responsive work again for our duplicated content. So first go to the tablet and here we can see it looks good, we don't need to do anything and let's check it for mobile. And here we need to reduce the width of this image. So go to this container and make it to 100 pixel. Also make this image height to 100 pixel, reduce its font size. Also for this subheading, 14 pixel. And also let's reduce the gap between these items. So go to this container, make it to 7 pixel. Perfect. Let's go back to the desktop. And now we can duplicate our this content. Here for the second container, let's change this text, change this image and the subheading and by following this let's also create our other content okay we have created all of our these containers and right now this looks too messy don't worry when you paste our custom code this will automatically get fixed 
so right now just keep it like that and add the content on the right side so from here let's add a text editor widget change its color to black and also change this typography let's also add a button under here so drag this button widget make it a hire me button and let's design this Here the gap between them looks too big. Also, let's reduce this. Now here at the bottom, we also need an previous and next button. And basically we need to wrap these two buttons inside a container. So from here, let's drag a container. And first of all, let's make it to full width and make its position to the absolute. From the bottom, make it to 25 pixel. Inside this, as we need button, so from here we can just copy this button and paste it to here we don't want this black background here so make it to fully transparent change this color to fully black we don't need this border radius also don't need this padding also change the typography also i forget to change this text let's duplicate this and create our next button and lastly to place them at the center here Let's go to this parent container, make this direction to the row and justify content to center. Perfect. Everything is almost done. Now finally, we need to add some classes with some of our elements. So first go to this very first container and add the class MDW3D Circle Gallery Area. Then with this container MDW3D Circle Gallery with this previous button MDW3D Circle Gallery Brief and with this next button mdw3d circle gallery next and lastly to add our custom code let's search for an html widget and drag it to right here and paste this code snippet don't worry i will give all the code snippet to my website and also give the website link to my description so from here we just need to copy and paste that code okay now let's save this and if you prefer this you can see everything looks good this hover effect is working. Also, you can drag this and also this previous and next button working perfectly. And here you can see these small images. These are automatically generated from our custom code according to these middle images. And these images get repeated multiple times to create our this beautiful circle. So if you look at here, from here you can also control these options like how many times the image will be repeated, the radius of the circle, also the drag speed. Okay. So right now this looks good on our desktop. Now we also need to check it for our tablet and mobile devices. So let's go to the tablet. And here you can see this content are overlapping with our circle. So here instead of this horizontal layout, I want to make it to vertical. So go to our this container and make this direction to column. Also here previously we have set the minimum height to 100 VH. We don't need that. So make it to zero. We just need some padding with this and here during your editing if the middle circle disappeared what you need to do you just need to save this page and refresh it again you can see now the problem has been fixed so here for our this top container let's make its width to 400 pixel and here let's align this content at the center also let's reduce the height of this middle container so let's make it 600 and for this bottom container let's also make it to 400 pixel and also align these items to the center and here for tablet i don't want to make its position absolute at the bottom so let's go to this container and from here we need to make it to default but here this option is not responsive that means if I change it to here, this will also get changed for all of the devices. So instead of doing this, from here we can add a class MDW no position tablet and you can see this problem has been fixed. Lastly, let's go to the mobile and here we can see everything is almost fine. We just need to reduce the height of this container. And also don't forget to check it from wider mobile devices.
So here I think we need to reduce the width of our this container. Perfect. So that's how you can create this 3D image slider on your Elementor website. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.